Hi guys, today is the 30th of May 2019 at 39 minutes past 11 in the evening over here in the UK and I'm just going to get straight into it. This report about the world's smallest surviving premature baby released from US hospital. I'm just going to read a little bit of the report. A baby born weighing just 245 grams, believed to be the tiniest on record to survive premature birth, has been discharged from hospital in the US, this is in California. Baby Sabai and I find that name interesting, say by, weighed the same as a large apple, keep that in mind, when she was born at 23 weeks and three days in December 2018. Fighting for life, she was transferred to the intensive care unit at Sharp Mary Birch Hospital in San Diego, California. Doctors told say by's parents she had just hours to live. I mean, say by, you, you, you know, your child is born 23 weeks in and... They may not survive, but the name they chose is Say Bye. Um, it's it's very odd, um, but that's not all. I think there may be some connections in here with the iPad Go 2 video, and um, I'm just going to let this video play before I bring in my interpretation. And stay in the United States. An infant girl, who is thought to be the world's smallest baby ever to survive, has been released from a hospital in California. She's now home with her parents and in good health. She was born by emergency cesarean section last December when her mother's blood pressure surged to a dangerous level 23 weeks into pregnancy. The infant weighed 245 grams at birth. Medical staff managed her breathing and nutrition in an intensive care unit for the next five months. She grew to weigh roughly two kilograms by the time she was released. Hospital workers kept encouraging the baby and her parents by placing signs near her crib. One of them read, Tiny but Mighty, and another celebrated 100 days after her birth. We want to go. We want to go. We're not, if we go home today, I don't think we can forget the state. We should celebrate this date every time, huh? It's going to be a special moment for us. The baby left the hospital on Wednesday dressed in a graduation cap. Now, that's the part of the story I found interesting. The reference to the large apple, um, the 23 weeks birth, the graduation cap, and the times that we're in just kind of made me think of this scene here, the reference to the large apple and the graduation cap. Now, obviously, there's many different things in the news and stuff that could be connected to this, but obviously, I'm just thinking maybe it's an obscure reference to a news story because most of this is about reports that are going to be covered in the news or things that make headlines. So, obviously, that's how we find out about it and uh, connect it to this video. So, it's possible that this baby, the smallest baby ever born, could be in, implanted in this video in, in subtle ways. Um, obviously, today is the 31st, uh, well, it's about to be, for me anyway. Um, today is the 30th of May, tomorrow will be the 31st of May. And this one of the translations from the seeds in the apple, um, the number 31 being three seeds and one space without a seed, three and one. Um, we also have the F reference down here, pointed that out before, um, that could be a reference to Fisher number 8, which is a connection to Hawaii, could also stand for Friday, which uh, tomorrow would be, the 31st of May would be Friday. I was thinking, is there a reference to May in here? And the only thing I can think of is the uh, the 7, or the L that we think on Obama's foot, could also be a V, so that could be, obviously, the Roman numeral for number five, which could be the fifth month, five, three, one, and F for Friday. So keep an eye out. Obviously, this all has to do with a volcanic um, eruption, landslide, tsunami scenario. Um, and today, Mount Etna decided to erupt again, um, spewing lava and ash. Um, quite a big eruption, hasn't settled down just yet. You can see some of the images of the ash that was produced just there. Um, there's video footage just here of uh, what is currently happening 
um, at Mount Etna. Just make that big for a second so you can see that a bit more clearly. So you can see it's fully erupting there and um, some of the lava trails as well you can see so if um, if the birth of Archie, Prince Archie to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry is a reference to the birth with the apple dropping down but also a possible connection to this baby then just like most of this video it's telling a dual storyline so one appears to be tracking within the first half of this year with the fire of Notre Dame and other events the Ravens at Tower of London and stuff like that and the second part tracking the second half of the year so the apple rolling across the ground as I've said I think the reference now that we've passed um, seven days after the birth I think it's actually referring to seven months after the birth, which would be December, um, which could be what the L stands for, L being the 12th letter of the alphabet. Um, so, could be December 7th, maybe something happens, maybe the lights go out around that time um, as the, uh, the L goes dark and we just have the torchlight illuminating the apple part of Obama's foot, the uh, tsunami wave and stuff like that. Um, but obviously all of that remains to be seen. December is uh, much further away than uh, May 31st, which is just within the next couple of hours. So I think that takes precedent. Um, as I say, Mount Etna is one of the volcanoes we have been watching um, just because we know that there's a volcano on this apple and the apple is next to a foot. Italy is shaped like a foot um, next to... Italy is an island with a volcano on it, that volcano being Mount Etna, could also be Stromboli, maybe both, but as I say, Mount Etna is currently erupting, and you can see that that possibility is uh, more likely, considering it's in an eruptive state. Um, also looking out for a missile launch, don't know if that's going to be involving Iran or North Korea, but we do have the number 31 up here. This could be referring to Iran as we have Osama bin Laden who also represents Iran in this video, in this scene, though the 31 could be connected to a different month, maybe August or December, two, two months I have on watch. Obviously uh, more information will come out when we get closer to that time. We also have the foot, um, the numbers three and one attached to this house rocket and also possibly the numbers three and one up here as well. And that could possibly also be an F just there, three, one, F, 31, Friday, which would be tomorrow. Obviously, there's many times where there's been 31 connected with uh, a Friday. So obviously... As with all the interpretations, they're just interpretations, so I don't know if they're correct unless something happens, and I'm always praying something doesn't happen, so it's kind of a catch-22. Um, but that, 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 for me, it doesn't mean that the information is not worth sharing, even if nothing happens or I don't want anything to happen. But as I say, we have numbers 3 and 1 there. That could be 13. But as I say, we've got a 31 coming up. Got some... Uh, important events taking place so keep an eye out in association with missile launches could be Iran but could be North Korea <coughs> um, obviously I mentioned before that Donald Trump calling their missiles small might be a little bit of a, a goad to launch something a bit bigger um, but also North Korea is complaining that the United States conducted a sub what was it called let me see if I can see the word in here uh, subcritical nuclear test on February the 13th. So this was just days before a second summit between the United States and um, North Korea. But obviously it was not announced until around now. So this report from Reuters is coming out on May 29th. And obviously North Korea is uh, saying that 
the United States is showing bad faith in negotiations by conducting nuclear and missile tests and military drills as part of an evil ambition to conquer North Korea by force, even while advocating dialogue. So, all of those things together obviously could, you know, if from the North Korean perspective, if the United States is conducting nuclear tests and carrying on with military drills and calling their missiles small, it might be, you know, time for them to launch the Jushi Bird nuclear missile. But obviously that would have huge ramifications. So unless North Korea is ready to go to war, um, we haven't heard any reports about um, artillery or military man- movements um, being conducted in either North Korea or South Korea. There haven't been any reports from Japan about any signals they've been picking up regarding uh, North Korea preparing for a test. Likewise, with the uh, the agency that monitors North Korea through satellite, they haven't published any images suggesting there's going to be any sat- um, missile launches. But still, keep your eyes open just in case, because these things could obviously come as a, as a surprise. And the worst thing is to be surprised when you already know that things are going to take place. And the last thing is I found it interesting that um, today they decide to publish a report about the Doomsday Plane, give us a little bit more information about it. Um, not too much information, of course. Uh, basically just saying it's, it's like a second Pentagon. It's ready to take off 24 hours, seven days a week. The plane is equipped with specially shielded Uh, Sorry, the plane and its equipment are specifically shielded to withstand the aftermath of a nuclear blast, um, specifically referencing EMP protection, um, and obviously accompanied with Donald Trump ordering the, uh, let's say, more advanced protection for the electric grid. And this news report with more information about the Doomsday plane, which is protected from um, an EMP. We're obviously looking out for that type of event. Um, may not be coming soon, as I say from the IPEC GOAT 2 video. My translation would be seven months after the birth of Archie, bringing us into December, the 12th month, maybe on the 7th, um, where the lights go out. And obviously, later on in that month, we see more things. Obviously, I hope and pray nothing happens tomorrow, but um, I'm obviously going to remain vigilant. After that, if nothing happens, there are more significant dates. Keep an eye on Donald Trump's uh, visit to the UK. After that, going to Normandy uh, for D-Day. Theresa May stepping down. Jared Kushner with his peace plan around June 25th. Um, I think that's around the same time there's supposed to be a meeting around the OPEC agreement. Um, I found out from many fish today watching this video that the uh, Bilderbergs are meeting today or had their meeting today um, in Switzerland, obviously the place where the CERN super collider is. Um, there was a lot of information I found interesting in this last video, so I recommend you go check that out. That's many fish. Um, but yeah, a lot of things going on, a lot of things to watch, and we'll keep our eyes open and keep you guys informed as best we can. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.